Chaotica Spellbound. Welcome everybody. This is Brian Polito, proud publisher of Coffin Comics, and this is the official preview of the Chaotica Spellbound Kickstarter campaign. Coming at you live September 13th, Wednesday at 7 p.m. Arizona for launch. Feast your eyes on this gorgeous premiere edition cover by Diego Bernard, colored by Hi-Fi, logo by Marshall Dillon. Over here, you're gonna see a host of question marks, because that's all the additions. Let's get into it, shall we? Here's some of the basics, right off the bat. Chaotica Spellbound will be 48 pages, square bound, featuring 48 pages of story and art, co-written by myself and Mike McLean, illustrated by Allison Rodriguez, colored by Hi-Fi and lettered by veteran letterer Marshall Dillon. And here is the story. Let me bust out my trusty clipboard. When I bust out my clipboard, you know it's serious. Here we go. In the hopes of taming her unpredictable powers, Lady Death's daughter Chaotica journeys to Salem, Massachusetts, home of a shadowy society of witches. There she visits an underground occult library in search of answers. What she finds instead is a one-way ticket to a strange alternative earth, a reality in which witches and warlocks have defeated the genocidal forces of mankind. Now, guided by a wise supreme sorceress, this witch world has become a harmonious paradise, but soon Chaotica discovers looks can be oh so deceiving. Thrust in the middle of a war of attrition, Chaotica must learn to unleash the awesome power within or face the fire. Burn, witch, burn! Special guest appearance by Lady Death. Now, I'm about to show you some gorgeous cover imagery and additions, but you may be asking yourself with this new character about Lady Death's daughter Chaotica, what do the interiors look like? Well, let's take a look, shall we? Feast your eyes on page two. Artwork by Allison Rodriguez, color by High Fog. There is Chaotica in action in France. Here is page 24 of the story, featuring the art by Allison Rodriguez. Those of you with a sharp eye will know Allison's work as anchor of Diego Bernard. And in fact, Diego Bernard really helped out on the layouts on this project. Next up, check out Guest Appearance by Lady Death. However, Chaotica is upset because her powers are too hard to tame. What will happen? And in fact, during our storyline, you will see Chaotica move towards the dark side and the very nature of her powers become completely unleashed. Rounding out, the aforementioned burn, witch, burn. Doesn't always go great for Chaotica in this story, but in the mighty Coffin Manor, you can expect action, violence, titillation, everything that you've come to know about our work. Now, without further ado, let's talk about the various additions offered on this campaign. This campaign is what we call a quick strike format campaign. Similar to Lady Satanis, it is very defined in scale and scope. So here we go. First up, this is the main premiere edition. If we unlock the right amount of free bonus items, part of them will be a beautiful blue foil. Can we do it? Next up, this is the bonded edition featuring Lady Death and her daughter Chaotica. Both these editions offered for $29. Next, Sora Sung lends her considerable skills to the jeweled edition. I love this edition. Next up, Sun K will provide the official naughty edition. Next, John Boy Myers provides the cover to the official holofoil edition. Here we say Chaotica expressing her power. Next, Elias Chadzudis provides the cover to the Mega Foil Edition. And you will notice the beautiful Crescent Moon, which is a recurring theme in our story. How gorgeous that turned out. Next in the main editions is the Hardcover Edition 
by Richard Ortiz. Now that is certainly a mock-up, but I do want to give you a sense of what our hardcovers do look like. Beautiful, trim, nice bindery. So, but this is a mock-up, a beautiful cover by Sanju Niven June and Richard Ortiz. Rounding out the main editions is the Heavy Metal Edition by Keith Garvey. Now, next up, now let's start talking about our upper tiers, including the, whole of the High Roller. Here is the exclusive High Roller Edition by Ryan Kincaid, doing a great job with Sanju Nivenjun. Next up is our Mega Baller, including this gorgeous metallic jewel by the one and only Mike DiBalfo and Juan Fernandez on color. Also part of the Mega Baller is the beautiful Naughty Cabal edition by Sora Sung, colored by CC De La Cruz. Next up as part of the Mega Baller is the Naughty Mystical Edition by Elias Chatzoudis. And rounding out the Mega Baller is the Naughty Follow Edition. The Naughty Follow Edition. Next up would be the Legend Tier. The Legend Tier features the artwork of Eric Basaluda, colored by Sebastian Chang and the Naughty Legend Edition and the, Vir no the Virgin Art Legend Edition. I would love to take a moment to just enjoy the Legend Edition will be limited to 50 sets and you'll notice these other question marks. What are they? Well, these are for our print and card themes, and we will get back to those. Now, let's look at the Mega VIP Edition. That includes all the aforementioned editions, plus the following. The Metal Legend Edition by Ebass. This tier is limited to 15. The beautiful John Boy Myers variant the Sickle Edition, the Sickle Holofoil, and the Handcrafted Edition. No two are alike, and it features color by Sean Forney. Each one completely and utterly different. If you could believe it, unlike other campaigns, we are introducing a new uppermost tier. This is the Ultra mega VIP tier. It includes everything we've seen before. This tier is limited to eight sets, six of which are added to the campaign, two of which are retained by the publisher for file copies, and they include these gorgeous Legend Pearl Luxury Foil Editions. This is the pearl in nice and naughty You'll notice it is the pearl linen along with a custom foil applique. Limited to eight copies each, then the image retired, then that particular application retired. Now, as I mentioned prior, let's get into some of the prints that we're offering. First up is the commemorative edition print by Diego Bernard, color by Hi-Fi. The naughty commemorative print by Sun K, featuring a very evocative costume of Chaotica. Let me admit one thing about Chaotica for those of you who have read her since the beginning, her first appearance, and I believe it was Extinction Express. You'll notice that she's perpetually changing her costume. Some people like one costume more than others, but this is what I could promise you. Every storyline, new costume. For example, uh, you'll notice that her costume is dark in this storyline. It actually begins with this costume, changes to this costume, and emerges in this costume. And I just think this is a chance to show a, a character evolve over time. So even in 2023 storyline, uh, 
she would wear a different costume and I promise you in the 2024 main storylines of she will change yet again. So, next up, the Evas Legend print in the naughty Evas Legend print. But that's not all folks. We will be featuring a nice print set and a naughty print set and an ultimate print set. So let's show them, shall we? Let's start with the nice. Bonded by Allison Rodriguez, DeBalfo, Juan Fernandez, Keith Garvey, Elias Chetzudis, and John Boy Myers for the nice set. Now let's take a look at the naughty set. Keith Garvey, DeBalfo, Ryan Kincaid, David Harrigan, rounding out this one, Richard Ortiz. And the nice set plus the naughty set in these additional four prints are our ultimate print set. Now let's take a look at the trading cards. First up, the nice set, including the bonded image by Allison Rodriguez, Keith Garvey, John Boy Myers, Mike DiBalfo and Elias Chetzudis. These are limited in nature, so get them while you can. Next, the Naughty Set by Richard Ortiz, Mike DiBalfo, David Harrigan, Keith Garvey, and Ryan Kincaid. Then the ultimate print pr trading card set. That's limited to, these upper tier ones are limited to 69 copies. That includes the one and only Ebas, Ali Garza, Elias Chetzudis, the nice version by Ebas in Ulamos, and Sora Sung. Folks, take a look at it. Here we are again. Chaotica Spellbound. This book has been in production for some time. It's an integral storyline in the coffin verse. It fills in some gaps in her story, gives you a little insight into her origin, but it really is about her evolution. This Kickstarter campaign premieres Wednesday, September 13th at 7 p.m. Arizona. I cordially invite you to get in on the ground level of this campaign, back it on day one, and I wanna thank each and every one of you for watching and for your consideration. Two things I'd like to leave you with. Number one, please, sign up to our pre-launch page. That way you will be notified upon launch. Number two, I am here to let you know that we're changing our format. We will no longer be releasing PDF previews. However, we're going to give you early access to the actual campaign itself so you could contemplate what you would choose to back. This way, it's exactly what the campaign will look like. You could familiarize yourself and get right into it. Folks, thank you so much for watching. You guys and gals have been great. I've been Brian Polito. Thank you so much for your consideration. And here we go. Chaotica Spellbound, coming at you. September 13th, Wednesday, 7 p.m. Arizona. Be there.